and hello everyone, the Royal Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I thought I was doing a little update video for my channel while playing a little bit of Minecraft. Let me just uh go ahead and sit day. So, first things first, what I want to do is explain. Yeah, you can see my skin has changed. I am now looking like a girl. Don't ask any questions, at least not yet. I will explain all in due time. Uh, hopefully the Frame rate's not the, too bad. For some reason, every time I record Minecraft, my game, like, like computer, blah, blah, yeah. computer likes to slow down. And you may see that I am building something right now. Um, if you guys remember, there's that uh, game that I play called Onigiri. Well, I decided I'm going to make Onigashima, which I will put a map, maybe, up in the video. Or in the video, I'll probably put like a map or something showing what Onigashima's map, I guess, looks like. And basically, I'm going to try and recreate the entire Onigashima area on Super Flat. Now, let me just get rid of this little thing I have in the corner. Okay, thank you. All right. So what I decided to do was I started with Gord. This is called Gord Park. And then eventually over here, there's going to be some one, like, over here, like, I should have not done it on Super Flat. It's a lot harder, but, um, like, this is supposed to be, this is right. It's supposed to be one step, and then you get down to this little park area where there's a, a playground and stuff like that. But then over here, there's a bunch of other, like, at least three steps. So it would be a, about, like, three of those. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just do one step. Next layer will be here, and then the next layer will be down one. There will be stairs going up, and eventually over here will be where the uh, kitchen den is. Over here will be the rift and stuff like that. But, yeah, I started with Gord Park, and what I'm doing is... um. I'm basically taking a ton of my friends from Onigiri, I'm going to be putting them into houses here. Like this one is the big giant one in Gord Park in the back. And you can access the place. You can't actually go in the buildings in uh, Onigiri. You kind of glitch into them. And in the back there's some plants here. I actually got to fix it. Maybe. I got to put like a plant here or something. You can glitch through the plants to get into the house. And then people like to role play and say, oh, this is the kitchen. So I decided to make me and my current girlfriend uh, our house because I, we have been dating for, honestly, I don't even know. It's It, it seems like it's been so long. Uh, what's today? I don't even know what today is. Uh, today's the 26th of February. Hmm. It's been a little over a month. Yep. Okay. And... We play together on Unigiri, so we decided to make this our house with our little companion, uh, who is one of my good friends. And then I got the other houses here, which I don't know whose house this is. This is my uh, let's see. Uh, so me and this is this is uh, my character, which name is Tilly or Taliva, Taliva and Nanoha's house with Nawi, which is our little companion in this room right there. I'll show it off a little bit while on this update video. It's mainly like an update video and then I'm going to be playing a little bit. Let's just do that. Um, Yori, or Yuriko's house. I'll make a house for Nali, which will probably be this one right here. In Onigiri, you can only access the bottom floor, but some of these buildings are bigger, so like this one right here in the back is probably the, like the tallest one I've ever found, so I have to still build it up and make it look like there's a building, but there's really not. We got the playground right here. I got to build the slide, and what I have to actually see what else is here. There's a giant clock tower, which I, honestly I kind of failed at. There's more houses, which I'm not done with. We got four more houses over here. This I'm still working on getting rid of because there is no village right there. There's gonna be a giant wall set up. There's buildings over here. They are not set to scale because like that's an awful looking house right there. It's just a freaking triangle. Go away, go away. Okay, we got these houses over here. And there's supposed to be a giant house here, more stuff. You'll see it. Ow. Uh, sorry, I just played horror games. My uh, heart's kind of still beating fast. And yeah, you'll see it on the map, which should have already come up by now. God, I'm really far behind and, and stuff. So um, let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, wee, flying away. Um, sorry, I get distracted. I'm not on my medication right now. I kind of wore off. Um, let's see, updates, updates, updates. Um, I'm going to PAX East in, uh, that's a good question, how many more days? <laughs> um, 
That is a really good question. How many more days is it? Eight, nine, ten? I think ten more days? I'm going on Sunday the 8th? Yeah, the 8th, I think. God, now I just want to look at my calendar. Um, yeah, Sunday the 8th, I'm going to PAX East 2015 in Boston with my brother. My brother's never been there. He was jealous when I went last year with Tony and Justin. So it's like, you know what, I'll buy him a ticket and I'll go with him. Next year, I'm hoping to also go, and I'm going to try and bring some of my other friends along, like my, my friend Tyler, which is the video game recon, which I will probably put his link in the description now that I mentioned him. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Um, or what else do I need to talk about? Um, I made a new channel. That's a good one. Um, I might do some videos on it from Minecraft and stuff, but, um, I made a new channel. I'm going to still be recording on this one, as you can obviously tell from this video and my horror games that I just did. But I decided that I, something that helps me out, or has been helping me out for quite a while now, there's this, these videos out there called ASMR, which, hate me if you want, I probably am going to butcher the, uh, what it actually stands for, but it's like audible, I didn't, it's either auditory or audible, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, I think it's audible, sensory, meridian response which it helps it's um it helps people with um like depression anxiety stress um ptsd um all those kind of things it helps with relaxing and stuff like that calming people down helps people sleep which that's also why like i enjoyed those videos it's helped me sleep before it's helped me calm down relax it's helped me out of depression everything and what ASMR basically is, is it's um, people whispering in your ears and all. They have these things called binaural mics, which makes it so that it sounds like they're inside of your head. And um, they like, they'll go and they'll move over to your left ear or whatever and they'll whisper into the mic. And it will sound like they're inside your left ear. And like they do role plays, like haircut role plays. Um, Tons and tons and tons of role plays, um, tapping noises and stuff like that, and it's really really cool, and it's helped a lot. And people they give to the community, they help the community out, and that's all I've ever wanted to do with this with YouTube in general on this channel, and with this new channel that I made. Um, like on this channel, I want to just help people uh, smile, and if they're depressed, I want to help them smile. I want them to be happy. I'm not in it for the money. The money is honestly just a bonus. It's like, I don't care about the money. If I never get paid for it, I don't care. I just want to see my fan base grow, which it's not that big right now, but I want to see it grow. And I would like to just make people smile and... Yeah, I can't, I'm can't. i losing the words right now. I want to help people smile, help them go through their day happy. God damn it, Rain, you're ruining the moment. I want them to go through their day smiling and being happy and that's the whole point of this channel and then I decided because ASMR has helped me and given to me I want to help give back so I decided to make an ASMR channel I'll put the channel link in the description so you guys can go check it out I only have I think as of right now I have three videos a tapping video where I tap on a bunch of different wine bottles and beer bottles that I have around the house since I'm 21 I can drink and my parents have tons of wine and beer laying around so I was like you know what I'm not gonna drink but I'm gonna go ahead and tap on these wine bottles and stuff that was the first video I made sadly it's already got about five dislikes I'm not sure if it's just because my I don't have a binaural mic binaural mics are pretty expensive I found one on Amazon that's four hundred and something dollars. I will buy that one when I have the money for that. Um, but uh, I don't have a binaural mic right now. I'm working on it. Uh, I don't have the best camera. I'm using my tablet to record for that channel. Um, the second video I made was a role play, uh, an alchemy type role play, where I pretend to make you guys a sleeping potion. And for some reason, I have a really weird accent. It sounds like another ASMR artist. Which is <laughs> it was it's pretty cool because I kind of sound like the person but it's just it's strange because it's like that's not my normal voice and I tried whispering and it was really hard so I kind of just talked and I did my best and then the third video I put up was actually a request 
for book tapping and scratching and page turning, which I hope I did okay. It, I was whispering. It's a little bit loud at some points, so I'm hoping it's not too bad. But yeah, I made an ASMR channel. I will put it in the, the link in the description if you guys want to go check it out. I hope you guys do because it's... I just want to help people out. I want to make people smile. I want to make people not depressed. I want to make them relaxed. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, let's see. So what was I just talking about? Pack Seas. Talk about the channel. Um, I'll be doing more videos of Game Jolt uh, Game Show. Uh, I'm going to be starting to do more Minecraft videos. I've pl been playing Minecraft just about every single day now. Because I'm working on this and playing on a server, a bending server. And um, I'll be doing more Minecraft videos, more Game Jolt game shows, more horror games if I can find any. As much as I hate playing them. Um, um, if you guys have games that you want me to play, please send me messages. If you made them, I'll play them. If you didn't make them and you still want me to play them, I'll play them. Just send me a link. I'll play any game pretty much. Um, now what else? Um... I don't know what else to say. I'm losing my train of thought. Um, what's next? What's next? I'm losing it. Help me. Help me, people. Um, <laughs> I just had it, too. I just had what I was going to say, and I lost it. Um, oh, yeah. So, um, as you can see, I have the skin of a Neko made chick. Um, what I'm planning on doing is um, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video soon. Um, so from now until I reach 100 subscribers, I will be taking questions. Just leave them in the comments on any video at this point. I will remind you guys in every single video, but leave your comments or your questions. It could be any question about anything. Leave them in the comments, and when I reach 100 subscribers, I will answer all of those questions. Um, you can ask about the skin, you can ask about whatever, you can ask about what I had for breakfast. I honestly don't know what I had for breakfast. That was, uh, 12 hours ago. I don't remember what I had. I think I might have skipped breakfast. Um, I had second breakfast. No. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a Q&A when I reach 100 subscribers so you guys can leave questions in the comments right now if you wanted to. And I will answer them as soon as I reach 100 subscribers. I will start writing down questions, or writing down the questions, and then answering them on a paper so that way I can read them out. Or I will just write down the questions, and then I'll read them off the spot when it comes to that time. Uh, is there anything else I need to talk about in this update video? Um, well, one thing is, I, like I said, I'm going to PAX Sunday on March 8th. If you guys are going, please leave it down in the comments and say oh hey I'm going on that day or whatever and then maybe we can meet up or something I think I'd love to meet my fans even though I only have like 67 of you I would still love to meet you guys and if you want I'll sign anything but it's not gonna be worth anything but I'd still do it it's my it's a fan base it's 67 people that that subscribe to me and wanna watch me and I'm perfectly fine with having fans and hanging out with them. I would love to. I'm going to be probably trying to see if I can bring my Cards Against Humanity with me, so if, like, if I meet up with you, you can play with me and my brother uh, at some point if things get boring or whatever, and I decide I just want to go hang out or whatever, we can be playing that, and it would be pretty cool. So, um, there's that. Um, let's see, what else can I do for you guys? If you guys want to be part of my town, yay, no. Uh, if you guys want to be part of my town, I guess I'll, I'll add you guys in because there's, I don't have many friends on Onigiri, so I'm only going to be able to fill up a, a couple houses. So, And this this place is huge, as you saw on the map. Uh, there's a ton of buildings. I have like all these buildings. Like This might be a shop. That's not going to be a house. That can be a house. That can be a tiny little shack. House, 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 house. Big house. And if you guys want to be in my town, I will make a house for you. And I'm hoping then, once I finish the town, I'm hoping to either make a mod or whatever so I can put the people in there and, like, name them, put their skin on if I can or whatever. be kind of cool to do that, I guess. 
So enough of rambling on. Um, like I said, there's all those things you can do. Leave questions in the comments on any video. And um, also check out my ASMR channel if you guys want to. Try not to judge too hard. I Like I said, I don't have a binaural mic right now. Um, I don't even have a mic in general. I'm using my computer mic right now. I use my tablet's microphone for... Uh, God, I forgot about the Minecraft uh, ambience. Ambience. However you say it. Um, I don't have a mic for my tablet. Unless I decide to use the headphones I'm using. Because supposedly they have a microphone attached to them. But I'm not sure about that. And if they do, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, don't judge too hard if you guys check out that channel. I'm new to this. Uh, I'm going to be getting a better camera when I can. I want to get a binaural mic. And that's that pretty much. So enough rambling on. I don't know how long I've been talking for. That's that update. And now we're going to play a little bit of Minecraft. But on this, my wonderful Onigiri Onigashima town. So, like I said, I still need to get rid of this village. The fence is basically going to start going like this and then eventually curve to reach that. Um, I need to fix all this. There's actually no grass, apparently. According to the uh, game, there's no grass. Oh, God, I got a burp. As bad as that sounds. No grass on any of these buildings over here. So I actually got to delete this. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I'm gonna also be talking about the other channel and stuff. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> um, yeah. So, if you guys want to check out the ASMR stuff and see what it's all about, you can always look up on YouTube ASMR, and or you can check out my channel. My channel is not the best for it. I'm new to it. I just would like to try and grow a fan base for it. I would like to try and make people happy. I would like to get a binaural mic and all that. Like I said, I'm still rambling on. Shut up. Um, but um, it's pretty cool. If I, I personally like looking on YouTube and I like looking up ASMR haircut and that'll give you a haircut roleplay because I they have this thing called a trigger or a tingle and I get triggered by uh, by the sound of scissors apparently cutting hair and it's 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 strange but it actually works it's really cool um i lost my train of thought again god damn it <laughs> but yeah oh yeah okay so on that channel i'm actually going to be trying to do some minecraft i'll be whispering it and i'll have the volume down low so you won't hear this you'll hear it a little bit lower and then i'll be talking i'm hoping to get my microphone working at that point so that way this will work and I won't be like, you won't hear the buzzing like you do now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all these so I can show you my house. Ah, house. Mm, 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 mm. Now, something you guys will see in here, I did name all of the rooms. One of the names you'll be like, wait, who's, who is that? And that is what I was talking about when you I said ask questions and I'll leave it into the, uh, the Q&A when I reach 100 subscribers. So, we got my house. I did not put the fire in the fireplace because for some reason it decides to burn everything even though I have fire spread off. You click on this and you got light. So much light. So right over here, we, oh actually never mind. So we have Taliva and Nanoha's room. A little lamp. And I love these little things. I love these so much. They're so cool. Taliva Nanoha, Nanoha's bed. Yes, that's right. Those are that's two girls' names. Um, <laughs> I don't judge at all. Uh, storage and walk-in closet. We got the lights. We have our little Nano's clothes on top. And Tilly's clothes are on the bottom. That's not supposed to be a joke. Nano is not actually. Maybe Nano is a top. I don't. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't judge. I love the LGBT community. Is great so I don't judge it's just it's just my female character it's fine okay <laughs> lights uh, the shower the bathtub the shower lights get the shower right here it's a beautiful shower we get the toilet that's the toilet okay toilet lights actually I'm gonna turn all these off because otherwise it'll start lagging my my game we got both sinks I get chests cabinets let me go ahead and turn off all the lights. 
whoop a de doo Turn off the lamp. You can go here. Eh. And I think I put it so that, yep, there are two secret little chests. They're not really secret, but they're chests. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do that. It's nice and dark. That's not cool. Over here we have Nowie's room. This is, I guess you could say, in, in the game, it's a lot about fantasy and role playing. So, this is our pet. And she can change form. She's a shapeshifter, I guess you could say. And this is all of her children, apparently. She's got a lot of children. Girl's side, boy's side, they sleep in the same room. Yes. Yes, they do. No, no, it's not bad. Not like that. They just, there's, we don't have enough room in the house for all the beds. Because there's a lot of children. And these are children from all the other characters that I've had and stuff like that. So this is Nowie's bed. Same, th same little deal. She loves black and... Oh, I forgot about this. She loves black and I put purple there because purple. It's purple. I'm also going to be doing more Onigiri videos. I should have mentioned that. So we got the hallway lights, which I'll leave on for right now. And then here comes all the kiddies. Oh, actually, hold on. We got the bathroom right here. Got another shower. We got the toilet in there. Some stuff. Okay, so these are all the kids. These are kids from Nanoha before she came to Tilly. Uh, we have Jenna, we have Rin, we have Kimoto, and we have Rinny. This is Rinny Chan. If you've ever heard me mention her in other videos, like the Sailor Moon games, I talked about her. Rinny Chan, my friend, my actual friend. Um, and then these are a lot of Tillies and other characters that I have on the games, uh, children. Which way am I going? This way. Okay. We have Veronica, we have Ellie. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Trying to remember these. So Veronica, I don't remember. Let's see. This is from me and this is from Tilly and Nawi, I think. Uh, Olivia is from Tilly and someone else. Ellie and Mikasa is from Tilly and Saber. I haven't really made the rooms yet. Uh, we have Leah, Akemi, Mikoto, and Renos, which is also from uh, Nawi over there. Um, we have Kurikos, Jax, Kenchis, and Ren. Kuriko is actually a, a girl. So we have, you walk in, and for some reason that's closed. Jack, Kenchi, and Ren's room. And then we have Kuriko. Kuriko is actually a Pokemon that I adopted. Apparently, yeah. There's no Pokemon in the game, they just decided to do that. They like that. Uh, we have... Ow. Uh, we have Kaito... Uh, Darien, Nozomi, and Honok. That the Honok. I don't know if that's right. Honoka or Hanoka? Honoka. I'm gonna go with that. So we have Kato and Darien, which is over here, and then this one over here, which is Tilly and Nano has children. Yes. Yeah. The kitchen and the dining room. We have the dining room right here, and then we have the dishwasher number one, dishwasher number two. We have the sink. We have the cooking counter, and we have the oven and stove and the microwave. Lights. Alright. We have the walk in freezer. Kind of, uh, not. Don't have any stuff to store yet. We have the fridge. Which I apparently cannot access this. Access the bottom. There's an egg. Where the hell did. Oh, no, I have that in my inventory. Can't access that one because there's something above that. Okay. Walk in food closet. I haven't really got it done yet. By the way, this is also this video is uh, for uh, mainly for uh, Nawi, which is Tiki, and for Nano Nanoha. Um, this is also for you because this is I told you I was going to try and build this house into Minecraft, and so here you go. It's the house, isn't it pretty? It's a square. <laughs> I love you both. Um, I'm also trying to make this on Unity Engine. Make the actual house, though. And then in here, I don't know whose house this is. Did I make it? Did I name it? I don't know. I did not name it. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. I don't know why I'm always singing. So yeah, like we said, I got the clock tower over here. I actually need to finish this, so we'll do that. Because this is a update video slash playing video. There's bats. Hiss. I still don't like bats. 
even from when I had my Alucard skin. I don't like bats, even though I love Alucard, and Alucard's a vampire who loves bats. I am really rambling. God, this is what happens when I either forget to take my medication or I drink a lot of energy drinks that aren't carbonated. I've had like six of them in two days. I have a problem. I'm admitting. First step to uh, the problem. Owning up to it. I've ha I have a problem. Okay. And so we have the gravel path, which eventually is going to lead to a somewhat four-way intersection, which is only going to go to about right. Oh god, hiccups. To about right here, and then it's going to start going. Oh god, start going this way, which then the market's right here. I actually think the market starts here. Usually when I'm making this and I'm building, I have like the building all set up, or I have the map in the background so I can see what I'm doing. But because I don't, this is a lot difficult. Get out of here, piggy. Don't you oink at me. God, you pain. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start working on this a little bit. The path and any buildings that are already uh, pre-made. I don't want to continue the town because I want to make the outline. The hell was that? I just heard something. Did you guys hear that? No, you didn't hear that. But yeah, I've started wondering what to call you guys. You know how everyone on these YouTube channels has. Oh, oh no, they have like this little thing like, oh, the something army. That that. I was thinking about that. I know I'm not big enough to have that, but like, what do you guys think about the uh, the Royal Gamers? Just because my name's La Royal Gamer. So, you guys can be called the Royal Gamers, or the Little Royal Gamers, I don't know. I'm just trying to talk, because I don't really have anything really... God damn it. it no, how do you get over there? I don't really have much to talk about in this video. Like I usually do when I'm playing other games and stuff. Because I'm usually going off on the spot. This I'm just kind of like rambling on, because it's supposed to be an update video. And yeah... Yeah, I am really. I don't know if I'm tired. I don't know if it's from the energy drinks. I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't judge me. <laughs> I honestly think it's from the energy drinks and from not taking my medication. I woke up too late this morning and I was like, okay, I need to get to school. Uh, forget taking pill. Just take a shower, eat, and get out the door. Damn it! I don't like this rain. Go away. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. But yeah. So, like I was saying before, um. Like, uh, nah, yeah. See, I'm losing my train of thought. It's so much harder. When you play Minecraft and all that, you just kind of lose your train of thought, I guess. Um, leave, like I said, leave questions in the comments on any video. Preferably on this video, if you guys are watching. Because that way I, I can look at them all in one video instead of having to look at the other videos. But you can do what you want. Uh, leave questions, and when I reach 100 subscribers, who knows when that'll be. I've only... I'm not getting many subscribers now. And that's perfectly fine. I can uh, I can survive at 60 or whatever. But it's it would be nice to have more so I can you know interact with you guys. But um, leave questions on this video and other videos, preferably this one. And it can be any question, and I will answer it on video. And eventually, if I can figure out how to get a fi my... I need to get a better camera or whatever, so that way I can actually do face cam and all that. If I can get it by then, I will um, also use face cam with the Q&A. There we go, it's done. And um, we can do that. So, just kind of answer or answer well, just kind of ask questions to me and I'll answer any question oh what color is your underwear um I will answer that question um why is your skin like that I'll answer that question I won't answer anything that's too disturbing I guess so oh let me think of one um you know honestly I could just take something from actual life experiences um, one day at work there was this kid that we hired 
and he was like being super duper racist and all that to ton of people. Uh, one of my coworkers' da uh, daughters, uh, he's being racist to one a uh, couple of my black friends because they were over by the cart section looking at the chicken. Yeah. And he was being racist, and they were right there, and I was standing right next to him. I wanted to punch him in the face. But he asked us all a question one day, and this is a question I will not answer. And I will I will ask I will say the question right now, so that way you have an idea of questions I will not answer. Um, let's see. What would you rather have? A glass of lemonade or one that has twelve penises in it? I could easily answer that in any way I want. I will not answer it because of how dumb it is. Do not ask any of those types of weird questions, or I will not answer your question. That's just a little warning, because it's, it's pointless. There's no reason for that to be made. Do I want lemonade or one that has 12 penises in it? I don't know. You guys might think that I'd go for the obvious answer, but it's like, it's stupid. Why the hell would you say that? So, I will ask, I will answer any question. What color is my underwear? I will say it. I don't care. It's not that bad. I have multiple colored underwear. So I can just pick a color and basically there you go. Someone could say, oh, what color is your underwear? I could be like, "It's they're black. Even though they're blue today or something. I don't know. Um, what's, what's the skin? I'm not going to answer that obviously in this video right now. But I will not answer any questions that are like that. So please do not ask or answer. Oh, yeah. I keep getting this confused. Do not ask any questions like that. Please. Thank you. You guys are the best. Honestly, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Anyone who has subscribed to my other channel, my ASMR channel, which I actually know there's only... F actually, hold on. There's four people, I believe. That I have subscribed to uh, to the uh, yeah four people I can't do this four people have already subscribed to the other channel. It has a lot of views already on some of my videos, which is amazing. But I'm not in it for the views. Like I said, I'm in it for helping people, just getting the subscriber base up, so that way I can help as many people as I can. Um, let's see if I can remember. I have my three of my. Three people that I know actually have subscribed. My friend David, we got my friend Matt, we've got... I honestly don't know what your name is, I just know that we call you by Asuna. Asuna. And then a actual ASMR artist subscribed to my channel. One that has 290 subscribers, not a big ASMR artist. But he's still an ASMR artist. Uh, Try ASMR, I think is what it was. Thank you for subscribing. Um, it means a lot. I'm a little, like I said uh, before, I was a little disappointed to find out that after having my tapping bottle, tapping one, up for a day, I only had it up for like maybe 12, maybe 12, 14 hours, and it already had f two likes and five dislikes, and already like 50 something views. But the fact that I've already got five dislikes, it kind of hurts. Kind of, because it's like, people apparently don't like my tapping, and I know that you guys may not like it, but it's something that I enjoy doing. I want to help people, and that's a way that I feel like helping people. Some people thought, I guess, or some people think that it's because alcohol is a depressant and they don't want to see uh, me tapping on alcohol, but I've seen people do taste tests ASMR. I know I, it may seem like I'm just rambling on, but I just want to get the point across that it's something I love doing. I love tapping. Anyway, without counting ASMR, I love to tap and stuff. So I thought tapping and stuff for ASMR would be kind of cool uh, to do to help people out. So if you guys don't enjoy it, well then maybe the channel's not for you. I'm not trying to be rude there. Just saying that maybe the channel's not for you. So please do go check out the channel it would really mean a lot to me if you guys at least checked out what ASMR is check out my videos if you don't like those check out ASMR on YouTube um, I could give a few ASMR artists a shout out 
because they are my favorites. I have a few. Um, actually, uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and do that because they are the ones that helped me out through um, my depression and stuff like that. Uh, there's Massage ASMR, which I think his name his name is I think Dimitri. Uh, there's Heather Feather, which is uh, Heather. <laughs> There is Paul Artwork, which um, he's French Canadian, I believe, and he's the one that I told you guys I sounded like in the Alchemy video. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Paul Artwork, I didn't mean to steal your voice. It was actually pretty interesting. I was like, wait, what the hell? I sound like Paul Artwork. Um, let's see, who else was there? There's ASMR Gaines. He was one of the first ASMR artists that I found, and found for the haircut roleplay, and it was really. It's really helped. I do want. To, I do wonder why though. But his voice got super deep. Just a little curious. And many other ASMRs. I can't really name them all, but they've all helped me through depression. Not me in like particular, but their videos, I guess, because they can't just help out one person. They help out tons of people. But they helped me out through depression and stuff. And it's really, really been helpful. I, you guys are my role models. I look up to you guys. So, thank you for doing what you guys do. There's the shout out for you guys. ASMR is a wonderful thing. It really does help people. It really does work. My parents actually saw my bottle tapping video. My mom's like, I don't get it. And I'm like, it's to help people relax. And she's like, well, I don't get it at all. And I'm like, okay. That's your problem? It was actually a funny story. Since I'm rambling on while I'm building and stuff. I don't even know how long this update video is. Um, funny story. I was actually in my physics class uh, the other day. And I got a text message. And I'm like, who the hell's texting me while I'm in class? Like, God damn it! don't you know I'm in school? And... It was my brother, and he actually messaged me, he's like, um, I hope that you didn't just buy all of those, uh, bottles for that video or whatever, and I'm like, no, those are all the bottles that are, uh, laying around the house and all that. I bought one of them, and he's like, oh, because that would have been an expensive video. My brother actually thought that I bought, went out and bought, I think it was eight? Uh, well, five bottles of wine, I think and three beers. He, he thought that I went out and did, bought all that just for a ASMR video. I would never do that. I would only use stuff that I have in my house. I wouldn't ever go out and buy stuff unless I'm requested to do that for a, like something for a video then I would think about it. Like I don't know. I don't know anything really. Um, unless I'm doing, unless I decide to do like a role play or whatever, and I don't have the objects I need, then I will probably buy it. I have tons of money. My parents just don't like me spending money. I guess you could say. And um, I'm trying to save up so I can get that binaural mic. It was a pretty cool looking mic. It actually has like it has fake looking ears on the sides, and that's where the microphones are, so you can like talk. Into like almost touching the ear, and it'll and it'll be recording it, like as if you're talking into someone's ear. So I thought that was pretty cool, but it's like four hundred bucks. They have the earbuds, the ones that go in your ears, but they're like ninety. So it's ninety dollars for those, but for an actual microphone, it's like four hundred apparently for that kind. So it does. It's pretty pricey. I want to get one though. I have like a ton of money in the bank. I just know that if I buy one though. My parents won't be too happy with me. So I'm hoping that uh, when I get into my own place, I will have a binaural mic. I hope that at some point I will be able to um, buy the uh, earbuds. So I can at least start using something like that, I guess. I hope that those work. I don't know. I don't know if they... I, they might just only work for, like, your voice, not for, like... You know what I mean? Like, you put them in and they'll be able to hear you swallow or something like that. I don't know if that's what those things do, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to get into my own place soon, and I will then buy that mic, or a mic similar to it, so that way I can record 
ASMR videos properly. Be really cool to do that. But for now, I just record on my tablet. And I try my best to uh, make it so that you guys get tingles and stuff like that. Well, not you guys, because you guys are the gamers, unless you guys go out and go ahead and check out the channel. But they're called tingles and stuff. Triggers. And I hope that I can do that for anyone who is in need, who is feeling depressed, sad, anxiety, uh, they can't sleep, PTSD. I hope I can do that for those people. Because it would really mean a lot to make those people smile. And then eventually to start talking with them more and becoming good friends. Because I find everyone, and all my subscribers, including you guys, what am I doing? Uh, to be my friends. You guys are pretty much all my friends. I don't see you as anything else besides friends. You guys are really nice to me. So why not? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are really all nice to me, and I really do appreciate it. So, what I do is I be your friend. And I just want to be people's friends. That's all I like doing. Being people's friends, making them smile, making them happy. Making them want to actually live their day. And that's why I said I hope I can do that for all of you guys. Uh, let's see. Which... Is it raining again? God damn it. Okay, well, I'm not going to be doing this too much longer because this is a pretty lengthy video for an update slash playing. Um. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, God damn it. Uh, fix. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, I got that song stuck in my head. I got so many songs stuck in my head right now. I've got, um, that, and then my friend from college actually showed me a song. Called the Narwhal Song. Yeah, I actually really hate that video right now. <laughs> that song is a pain in the butt. Just, uh, I might link. I I might link it. I might <laughs> link it into this video. <laughs> but it's a pain because it's so, it's so catchy. I guess you could say. It's really really catchy and it's really really annoying. <laughs> but it's still a funny song. Oh, you know, I have another thing I can talk about for the update. Okay. We're in business. Um, so, you guys might be seeing... Well, you guys... I know you guys will be seeing another unboxing video. Um, I ordered something in the mail. I actually ordered a ton of things in the mail. I just haven't ever showed them in unboxing videos. So... Uh, I'm going to start doing the unboxing videos again because I don't know how many people like those. But, I would like to start doing those again. And, um, like, I, I got a couple of figures. I got, um, a CD. I got a plushie at one point. Yes, I got a plushie. Don't judge. I like plushies. It's a Pokemon plushie, and I miss Pokemon. I miss my Pokemon days. I don't like the current Pokemon. I prefer the old Pokemon days. My favorite Pokemon, I have too many. Yes, I said that. I have too many. <laughs> but um, I started kind of buying stuff to remember my childhood because I'm going through a lot of tough times right now. Kind of why I'm not talking about certain things like uh, this and stuff. I'm just going through some tough times with family, friends, people. So... I started to try and buy stuff to make me happier and smile because I, I have actually been getting depressed because of it. So, like, the plushie and all that brought me back to my childhood and made me smile. So I was like, yeah, I like this. I'm going to keep on buying stuff like this. But, um, so I will be doing more more unboxings. I actually ordered a, um, something. This is, this is what I was trying to talk to you guys about and I kind of got distracted. Um... <laughs> Uh, me and my buddy from college are going to be starting up a, or hoping, when we get out of college, he wants to start his own business, his own video game making business. We have the name of the business for right now. We also have our mascot slash logo. 
already and it's from our f it's a picture or a model from a 3d version of a 2d game that we've recreated we recreated a game from like the 90s and all that called rodents revenge i think that's what it's called i don't know i have to actually look it up but we decided to we had to make a, a game in our class for a project so what we did is we were like okay me chris and my buddy eric were like okay what are we gonna do so we decided to we, that we were going to recreate a game called Rodent's Revenge. So, and you know, I actually like it like this. So we decided to recreate it. However, we didn't. It's supposed to be only one level, and it's supposed to keep on going over and over again. What we did is we made it four levels. Uh, three cats only. You play as a mouse. And that mouse, you're supposed to trap the cats. And then, when you trap the kitty kitties. Sorry, I'm getting distracted again. You trap the cats, they turn into cheese. So, what you then do is you grab that cheese. Trap. Um, and you have to you either grab the cheese or you can destroy it. And whichever one you pick. Um. If you get if you decide to collect the cheese, you get points. If you don't collect the cheese, then you don't get points. Once you collect all the cheese, you move on to the next level. But we decided to spice it up a little bit. We made it so that you ha could move a little bit faster. Uh, you can make pull. Uh, there's different difficulties for the cats and all that. There's a level creator, and there is a zoomed in feature. So you have a radar that you can look at, and your mouse your entire screen is zoomed in so you can only see the mouse you can't see the full screen like in the original game so we decided to take that game after we finished it for the class we decided to see if we can turn it into 3d for our uh, the next class that we had in the next semester sadly that came to a really really bad looking uh, game we didn't actually we got it so that we had the models but the game wasn't actually working but we decided to take that 3d mouse and it became our logo for a company that we are calling FGR Studios. That's really just my friend coming, taking his last name, taking the first initial of his last name, putting it there, and then putting GR uh, Studios. GR meaning game, uh, games and robotics. So it's F, which I'm not going to say his last name, F Gaming and Robotics Studios. So FGR Studios. We decided to, we want to make merchandise even though the company's not made fully yet. That way, if we do get started, or just for, like, giggles and stuff, we would have stuff. So I decided to make a hat called FGR Studios, or it says FGR Studios on it, it has the mouse on it, and it's coming soon. It's coming in six days, right before PAX. I'm going to be wearing it to PAX East. But um, I'll put the link for, um, we decided to put the, the 2D version up on Game Jolt, and we made sure to say that it is a college project, or a college remake project, so we do not own the game and all that, or own the rights, I guess. So it's just so that way you guys could play, the community could play it and see what we improved on. So I put it on Game Jolt, I'll put the link for that in the description, I will also put my game jolt profile on the description uh, in the description so you guys can friend me if you want I'll see if I can find the FGR Studios Facebook page and the website I don't know if about the website I don't know if I still have it but yeah so we're starting we're gonna be trying to start up a company or whatever or business um, we're actually use making another game in our lab class and we decided to, we decided to make a 2d tank game which I could put up on game jolt if we want the graphics were all ours and um, so I could put it up but it's not that fun it's only one level but we're just we decided to put it into 3d and we actually have something good for it something working for it and I'm gonna put that up on the game jolt website soon but it won't it won't be able to be downloaded yet until it's finished but at least you guys will be able to see pictures and videos of it. So hopefully that'll be fun. So, um, yeah, I didn't really do much in this 
uh, building. But I'll be working on this off camera. I got the two buildings at least. I showed you this. Uh, I did this right there. And I fixed over there. Yeah, I think that's about it right now for this. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like is appreciated. Uh, favorite, share it if you want. You don't have to. Subscribe for more content. You don't have to, like I said. Uh, if you want, check out the Game Jolt pages. Check out um, my buddy Video Game Recon because I mentioned him in the video. Go check him out. I will also leave some of the ASMR artists if I can. Uh, I'll leave their channels because I mentioned them and gave them a shout out. Um, also, check out my ASMR channel if you're interested and you want to check it out. Um, like I said, please don't judge me too hard. And also, leave in the comments, leave your questions for the 100 subscriber Q&A. And, yeah, I hope to see you guys in another video. I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoy this very long update and playing. My name is Royal Gamer, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.